With the Smart 6000, you can exchange information with the DBM 6000, to read the identifications badges, download the configuration files transmitted to the BLOC, and code new badges from your smartphone and, use your smartphone for the access control. If you want to use one of these functions, you need a Wi-Fi or VPN connection to have access to your computer network. For more security, communications between the Smart 6000 and your DBM 6000 is encrypted, and that's why you have to report in your DBM 6000, all smartphones running the application Smart 6000. Without this declaration, no communication and non-information exchange will be accepted by the DBM 6000. This tutorial explains how to do. If you do not have a connection on your network, however, you can copy configuration files manually in your smartphone to put your BLOG update. Refer to the tutorial manual update. Open the technical menu, then click the option, List of Smart 6000 Allowed. The list opens. Click New to declare a new device. In this window, you can see the IP address of the server. Introduce in the text field the name of the device you will declare. Now, take the smartphone to declare. Activate the Wi-Fi and start the Smart 6000 application. Enter in the configuration windows of the Smart 6000. Introduce the IP address of the DBM 6000 server, or, the full name of the server as displayed by Windows. You can leave the default port. Click on the test button. If the connection is successful, the smartphone ID number is indicated in the DBM 6000 window. Otherwise, an error message appears on the smartphone. In this case, check the server address, or make sure that your smartphone is at the same hour as the server, because, the data is encrypted and trim is stamped. Click the OK button, to continue. The device is now declared in your DBM 6000.